Hey guys, this is Preston again. I'm doing my second update on my Harley 72 uh, and the modifications that I've done to it so far. So since my last video, what I have done is I have done three inch powder coated risers to match my big blue pearl paint. Um, so that's right down here. As you can tell, there's those risers. Okay, I have also done a head breather right here which reroutes the uh, oil uh, and the oily crankcase air and vents it out so it cools your heads a little better. Um, I've also done a 636V um, forward facing air cleaner uh, with the K&N filter on it. Uh, I actually helped name and uh, possibly design uh, this air cleaner. Um, at least the elbow part of it here um, and that is available now at dkcustoms.com so you should definitely check that out I have also done a chrome open pull yard right there so you can see the gear in there and as I'm running down the road you can see it uh, spinning so that's kind of different also done uh, chrome uh, brass knuckle foot pegs so that's all I've done on this side so far. Uh, well, also I've done 10 inch, uh, inch and a quarter uh, round struts to strut the bike and that slammed the rear uh, by about three inches um, from my stock shocks. Uh, and that is also powder coated to match along with the elbow and the risers. Okay, on the opposite side. I did not want to go to Harley and have to get it remapped. So what I did is I got these right here. See that little blue little knob there? And the one right back here. And those are AFR or air to fuel ratio plug and plays. Um, and those are Viads or XIEDs depending on whatever model bike you have. And that you can set that to your bike and that way you will not have to go to Harley and spend $150 to get it remapped. So that's a cheaper alternative. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've done to the bike since y'all have seen it last. Uh, but if you didn't watch my other video, I'll go ahead and do a full overview pretty quick um, so y'all can see. Okay, so front stance of the bike sits like this. I did a headlight relocation and dropped my turn signals down. I did powder coated trim rings, um, kind of give it that chopper style headlight and turn signals look. Uh, I did the three inch risers. I did uh, all chromed out switches and hand grips, dropped my mirrors down. When I did the speedometer relocation off here to the left side of the tank, I got rid of this whole assembly up in here and did the chrome bar clamp and the indicator light bracket. Okay, I did the two inch tank lift, which opened it up down here. And then I also did the coil relocation and the ignition relocation. Did four controls with chromed out pegs, all from Harley. Chromed out my uh, battery and oil tank. Did the chrome foot, uh, brass knuckle foot pegs. I did the chrome sissy bar from Harley. I did the uh, solo spring seats uh, with three tone military grade uh, upholstery that is completely waterproof. I have two and a half inches of padding underneath that with a diamond stitch in it. Um, kind of cool and I also did the pussy pad or passenger pad whatever you want to call it in the back as well I did Vance and Hines uh, two inch straight pipes uh, wrapped it in six speed uh, fiberglass uh, heat wrap did the big ass uh, brake pedal uh, like I already said the air cleaner head breather uh, pulley guard and struts on this side uh, like I said, the two-inch tank lift, there it is right there. You can see it with the wire tuck. Uh, I also relocated my horn, which is down here, right in this area. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much all I've done to it for the time being. 
don't really have much else to do. Uh, the only other thing I can think of, which is stock on the 48s, but not for the 72, which was the drilled belt guard. And that is right there. I don't know if you can see the holes, but there they are. Right there. So I did that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for checking out my bike. Um, hope to have another update soon of some other stuff I'm going to do. Talk to y'all later. Ride safe. Later.